What's up, guys? JD and Bob here, bringing you an Edelsheim Wi-Fi battle. Today's match is against our good friend, the owner and founder of Snowpoint Temple, Elena, otherwise known as Angel of the Night 091. Today, we're bringing a battle ex exhibiting a lot of our newer Pokemon and hoping they'll work out. So let's jump right to it. First thing we send out is a uh, Shutterfly, the Masquerade. Uh, Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about Shutterfly? Well, Shutterfly is basically a physically defensive, quiver dancing masquerade using a intimidate to further boost it. I see. So basically, what it is kind of a dual wall that's supposed to be able to attack. Basically, that's the concept. But it gets uh, confused here and then starts to hurt itself in confusion as it goes for the more quiver dances. All right. So she switches out her spirit tomb and goes into Togekiss who scares out Masquerade. We don't want to hurt her anymore. And in comes Counterbot the Registeel. Pretty tough wall right here. You know Adeshine, he really loves his dual walls. Here comes spirit tomb, probably hoping to burn the uh, Counterbot, but ends up getting Thunder Wave by Counterbot on the switch in. Thunder Wave isn't really going to inhibit Spiritomb too much, though, considering it's already poor slow. All right, so we take this opportunity to set up our Stealth Rocks and manage to, you know, dodge the Will-O-Wisp on top of that. Now, knowing what she's going to try to do, we switch into a uh, special attacker in Moonatone the Lunatone. Now, that's Pokemon you really don't see too often, Lunatone right there. I mean, I'm sure everyone was wondering... What's it going to go for as Spiritomb continues to uh, hurt its, uh, get paralyzed? Lunatone sets up a, um, a rock polish. Taking the opportunity, since there's no damage done, set up another rock polish. So it's at plus four speed and then goes for the Psy Shock. But due to burn and the Marvel scale, is going to do too much to Milotic right here. Milotic then... Goes for Confuse Rage. Uh, Elena seems to really enjoy using the Confusion on this team. Once again, not wanting to hurt ourselves too much, Counterbot switches in on the Milotic, who goes for Recover. Pretty interesting set right there with the Burn Orb going to hurt herself in order to take less damage and then recover off the damage. She now goes for a Protect, a pretty interesting move considering the uh, consistent damage from Burn. But just to scout out what he's going to do, we go for the Seismic Toss. She sees it coming, and then she switches in Electros, where we switch in Shutterfly. Pretty interesting uh, setup right here. Uh, Shutterfly, of course, is going to be weak to Electros' attacks. She's trying to set up, you know, try to get that dual wall status back on. Uh, as we sit, we wait to see what kind of move uh, this Electros is going for. It goes for Dragon Claw. Anticipating a switch into something, I guess, that resists uh, the electric move. Probably thinking Flygon if we have one on this team. I, I don't quite remember. Uh, Shutterfly then goes for the Giga Train, trying to get some health back as Electros goes for the Wild Charge. Wild Charge is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, not just barely not enough to take out Shutterfly. This is going to give Shutterfly the opportunity to deal a little bit more damage before pretty much going down with the ship. So, Atlas Shine is going to go for his best attack that he has available, Bug Buzz. And then, <laughs> interesting uh, choice right there, going for the Brick Break, I guess, anticipating either the KO or another switch. Four times resistance with negative one on the attack. Uh, Shutterfly has no problem living that. Anticipating another Bug Buzz. Um... Elena switches into Lucario, who takes that pretty well with its own four times resistance. Shutterfly is sitting pretty good, takes a bullet punch, and it KOs Shutterfly. So he, he does some work, but you know, in the end, <sighs> that Masquerade just didn't quite work out. In comes Counterbot, uh, not afraid of Lucario's uh, close combat at all or Aura Sphere. Goes for another Thunder Wave, just, you know, slowing everything down today. This time catches Electros. Uh, depending on how bulky that Electros is, this Seismic Toss may or may not KO it. And apparently he was under the 100 marker and clearly slower, so he, he goes down. In comes Garchomp. I know some people are thinking, hey, Garchomp is uber. Uh, before this battle, we agreed to use Garchomp. 
And it turns out a few weeks later, the Deoxys speed form that we had on this team also turned Uber. So it's pretty much even in my book. Yeah, pretty much. Knowing that we can take at least one earthquake from Garchomp, we go for the Ice Punch. Which does quite a bit of damage considering there's no attack investments in that Registeel. Anticipating the next earthquake, we then switch into Munitone who has the Levitate. So pretty much takes it the best way possible by taking no damage at all. Then goes for the Ice Beam, which Spear Tomb is going to take pretty well. Yeah, that's right. And then goes for the Earth Power, since Psyshock would not be able to hit uh, the Dark type. Very true. No stabs. That That's pretty much the best. I guess we were going for the uh, Special Defense Drop. He does get fully paralyzed and takes another Earth Power, gets the Special Defense Drop, and then Pain Splits to get some health back. Considering that Moonstone has the Life Orb, that's not really uh, good news for us. With the Special Defense Drop, he goes for an Ice Beam to try to finish off the Spear Tomb. Doesn't quite work, but it gets fully paralyzed again. I guess that Spear Tomb is pretty much going to be in the same boat as Masquerade. He then goes for the Shadow Sneak, which does happen to KO Moonatone. So Spear Tomb, it, it's, it's sitting in there. Next in comes Blue Caso, the Smeargle, who goes for a Belly Drum. And that, well, you know, that maxes out his, his attack but then get hit by the Confuse Ray, which is not good, having plus six attack and being confused. Yeah, considering Blue Caso's defense, he's probably going to take himself out with one hit. And you called it, Bob. Great one-hit KO on Blue Caso. Uh, looks like this will not be the battle where Blue Caso gets to shine. In comes my goat. Yeah, in comes Bob's goat, the Deoxys Speed Form. Goes for the Ice Beam, which clearly KOs the Spear Tomb a lot better than other things. Um, and then comes Milotic to take another Ice Beam. Of course, my goat not going to be playing around with no Milotics. In comes Alexandria the Salamence. Gets off the Intimidate, another dual wall of sorts. High special defense, pretty decent defense. And then with the Intimidate, it'll allow Alexandria to set up Dragon dances all day if need be. Which is exactly what Alexandria is going to go for. Starts up with the first Dragon Dance, though confused. As long as she keeps going for the uh, support moves, though, she doesn't have to worry about hurting herself too much in confusion. Milotic then goes for the Scald, I guess hoping for the burn, because it's pretty much obvious that this is a, uh, a physical Salamence. Manages to break through the first... Uh, manages to snap out of confusion right there. Then goes for the Dragon Claw and avoids another burn. Pretty good for Alexandria right there. And then the burn will KO Milotic, which doesn't matter since this is an Intimidate, not a um, uh, the Moxie variant. Because it's so bulky, it's not going to be able to outspeed the Scarf Garchomp. But, uh, I was going to say, but he was going to live the outrage, but <laughs> not today. But, where I locked into the Outrage, Counterbot's going to be able to come in here, take that for days, and then finish up off earlier business with another Ice Punch. That's something you're not going to see too often. Registeel takes out Garchomp. Very nice move right there. In comes Togekiss. Probably going to go for the Aura Sphere. Instead, goes for a Flamethrower. I guess not a lot of people know that Togekiss can learn Flamethrower. Interesting uh, switch up right there, and in comes your your goat again. Yep, here comes my goat. The Specs Deoxys Speed Form goes for the Thunderbolt. Pretty much primed to finish off this battle right here. Super effective damage takes out Togekiss. In comes Lucario. Gonna go for the Bullet Punch. Because these things are naturally bulky, barely takes 103 damage. Specs Thunderbolt's gonna finish this one up. Pretty good battle right there. Very good match against Elena. Remember, guys, visit Snowpoint Temple. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.